Welcome back to Noah's Window. Today we want to look at a really short psalm, but it's very powerful. It's in the middle of the Bible, of course, right. and Psalm 117 only has two verses, but I think they're just so wonderful. Um, it says, Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you people of the earth. For His unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. You know, it, this is the very geographic center of the Bible, and I always find it interesting that the shortest psalm, Psalm 117, is only one chapter away from the longest psalm, which is Psalm 119. <laughs> psalm 119 has 176 verses. And what's interesting about Psalm 119 is every verse, I think with the exception of perhaps one, mentions the Bible mm -hmm. in some way. I mean, it may maybe about God's law, His Word, His you know his guidelines, his promises. His promises. His decrees, Every one of those verses has something about the Word of God. So I, I really wonder if it, it's just the Holy Spirit's way of centering the Bible in Psalm 117 with the unfailing love of God and His faithfulness, which endures. Because really, when you think about it, an, an unfailing love is. Some, we've talked about this on Noah's window before, but it's one of the most common expressions in the Old Testament. The Bible tells us over and over about God's unfailing love. And then faithfulness is kind of like, it's all, these are almost like parentheses. Unfailing love is God's motivation toward us. It's what He feels toward us. And His faithfulness is the fact that it's never going to change. And I, I just think those are such wonderful concepts to look at. And, you know, the moment that I, I say that, there are all kinds of directions to go with this. Unfailing love indicates that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, as we see in the last part of Romans chapter 8. And faithfulness means that we can count on God no matter what we're going through. And I love that His faithfulness is forever. It's not just for your lifetime or until the next or even for a thousand years, but His faithfulness is forever. There's no end to it. Well, I think also too, Marianne, it's, it's a beautiful uh, contrast to our own human failings because no matter how much love we have, at some point that love is going to fail. I mean, we just, we, we do not have perfect love. Thankfully, someday we will, we want to grow in that. But our love is never perfect. And then on top of that, when it comes to faithfulness, and I'm just talking about doing everything that we're supposed to do, right. we're all sinners, we're all flawed. So for those of us whose love may be great, but it's not perfect, for those of us who desire to be faithful, but we still fall, we can pull back and observe our great God and His majesty, that His love never fails, and that He's always faithful. Mm. And not only is it reassuring, but it, as you just pointed out, what an example. Yeah. That's our God, and, that, and we want to be like Him. Well, I, I think uh, those two thoughts about God really do reach us at our point of deepest need. Mm -hmm. because, because we are sinners, we can wonder, well, is there ever any time that God will just run out of love for us? Mm -hmm. Well, he never will. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, we can look at problems that we face in the future and we can say, well, am I going to survive those problems? And there we run into the faithfulness of God. And that goes back to a little bit that you touched on yesterday. And in, in, in what we consider to be somewhat dark days, yeah. we can still trust that God's love is still unfailing and his faithfulness is still forever. We never go out into the That's darkness right. never if we saw gonna, yesterday's yeah. Well, now we'll be outside yeah. those two things. Um, so that's something to really be excited about and thankful for too. Well, even if you're having the worst day you've ever had, you still have the blessing of knowing that God loves you no matter what and that He'll always be faithful. Even if you can't see that clearly right in this situation that you're in, He will prove Himself to be faithful. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. So as we leave on that thought today, Mark, would you lead us in a word of prayer? Father, we're thankful that you're so faithful in so many areas of our life. Your word tells us you're faithful to forgive us. You're faithful to stay with us until we come to your full design for our lives, that you're faithful to make all things work out for good. You've told us all these ways that you're faithful. And indeed, you've proven those things. Even as your word says you're faithful to us, even when we fail in faithfulness to you. So we celebrate your faithfulness. And Lord, we, we bask in your love, knowing that Nothing can ever separate us from your love. You are an awesome God, and we love you. I pray for everyone who is watching Noah's window today. May we all feel that love and feel that faithfulness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today on Noah's window, and we'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. God bless.